What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're going to be answering the question of how to make a random color generator in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What's up everybody? Welcome back. And like I mentioned, today's video, we are focusing on how to create a random color generator in Python. And the first thing that we need to decide is what format of color, like what colors format are we going to use? Because you could do something like RGBA, which, you know, red, green, blue, alpha, or um, you could do hex values. You could just do straight up RGBA. Today, we're going to create and focus on basically um, a RGBA color generator. Now to do this, what I would essentially do is if I was just from a blank sheet of canvas, um, well, semi blank, essentially, I know that I'm going to use random because this is just a, you know, we're, I, as the video title says, it's a random color generator. So I know I'm going to be generating some random things for this. So I just import this package. Next, essentially what I would do is I would just say, hey, I'm going to use a function because essentially this is going to be used probably, or this could be used multiple times. And to do that, I'll just basically give us like a signature of like color equals generate color. And then since it's just a random thing, we don't need to pass anything into it. So that's going to be that. So now let's hop right in and start creating what this, you know, generate color function will actually include. Okay, so to create this generate color function, essentially we'll go up here and we'll say def is going to be generate color. And this is kind of like more of a, like it might be a more of an advanced thing, but I like to put in like the return type. Uh, not all, like in Python, you don't always need to put in return types or um, variable types because it is more of like a scripting language, but it is very helpful to know like when you're using this later, what you're gonna get out of it. Um, so in this case, we're gonna return a tuple, which is basically, if you don't know what a tuple is, it's basically um, something that looks like in this format, R, G, B, um, or just values. It's basically the parentheses and then whatever you put into it. In our case, we're gonna return a tuple that looks like this. It's gonna have the, uh, the values of RGB. Um, now, but let's find what RGB is. So in the RGB color format, essentially you have, like I mentioned, and we'll make this a comment, um, uh, the RGB color format stands for red, green, and blue. And these range from basically zero to um, 255. So with this format, essentially, we want to create or randomly generate different values for red, green, and blue within the range of 0 to 255 and return that tuple, and then that should give us a color. So to do that, all I would need to do is come over here. I'm going to give us the variable R, and I'm going to say that's going to be equal to random. Now, again, these are 0 to 255, and they're integers. So what we're going to want to do is we can leverage the random package to essentially just random. And if you've seen any of my previous video videos using random or random lists or stuff like that, there is a random or rand int. There it is, rand int. Which, if you notice here by the description that um, my editor gives for the IntelliSense, it says returns random integer in range of A to B, including both endpoints. So, so zero to 255. So we just need to do rand int, and then we can say the first, the first input is zero, that's the starting range, and then the ending range is gonna be 255. Now, if we do, basically all we need to do now is duplicate that two more times and we can give it the different, um, the different variable names. So we get now a random blue color or a random green color and then a random blue color. And all I need to do is just now return the tuple of R, G, B. And that's pretty much it. Like if I run this right now, I just now need a print out color. So print, so color, and that's gonna be color. If I run this, you'll see I get, hey, um, two, 226, 97, and 80. If I run it again, 98, or 166, 141. And I can just keep running this over and over, and you're just seeing this generating random colors. Now look, we've in like literally probably three or four lines of code, basically five for the function format, we have created a random color generator that generates, um, and maybe I should say this is generate RGB color. And we can say that same thing down here, RGB color. Um, and we can just keep running this and then this will just keep generating a different color. Now, now I wanna talk about, cause you have your color generator and your but how do you know what that color looks like? And I wanna show you a kind of a package that you can use um, to essentially display what that color looks like. So let's start talking about how you can take this random color that you're generating here and display it to a user. Okay, so now that we actually have our function that generates a random RGB color and it gives us in a tuple format, we want to display that. We actually want to know what it looks like, right? Because I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't really know what the color 82 red, 86 green, and 142 blue look like. Um, if you do, hats off to you because I, I just can't visually see that. 
Um, so I need something that actually helps us to visualize what um, those colors actually mean or what those tuple represent, re representations of those colors actually mean. And to do that, we're actually going to leverage a, a package called Pillow. No, not the one that you sleep on. Even those are those are nice. This Pillow package is essentially used for images and, 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 and other things as well. But essentially, images is what a very common use case of this package is for. And so to do that, you're actually going to need to install it because it doesn't come... Um, shipped with the Python stuff, but no worries, installing it is actually really relatively simple. And all you really need to do is go into the command line, um, in this case, so like I'm doing, and you can essentially just type in the command pip space install space and then type in pillow. And if you do this, you'll see basically you go through and install stuff. I actually already have it installed. So it's it's just gonna say, hey, this, this uh, requirement um, to, to install pillow is already met. Now if pillow or if you use pip install or if you, this is your first time using it, this will also install the package that you use and all of its dependencies or all the other packages that are needed to make this package work. But for us, Pillow just comes by itself. Now to do this, we need to go up here and actually to use it, we actually need to import it. Um, so we're gonna import and it's not actually gonna be Pillow. It's actually gonna be, or actually we actually wanna do from, and then we wanna say Pill, not Pillow, just caveat there, import, and then we wanna say image. Oops, if I can stop, there it is. So now we've actually imported the image package from the Pillow, or the image module from the Pillow package. And essentially what we're gonna do is turn our color into an image, which basically it's gonna be a background image um, type of deal. And we're gonna just display that so we can actually see what our random colors are generating. Um, and to do that, all we're gonna say is go image is going to equal to, or image is gonna equal to image dot, and they have a function called Called new, which will generate a new image, but we need to give it the mode. Now we've already decided from the beginning of this that we're creating an RGB uh, uh, color. So we're going to give it the mode of RGB. And then we need to give it a size, which is in the form of a tuple, which again, we, like I mentioned, is just something like a list formatted thing wrapped in the, the parentheses. And I'm just going to say this is going to be a 200 by 200 image. So not very, you know, not very big, but it is, you know, it's good enough size to actually see what we're doing. And then we need to give it a tuple, which is going to be the color. And for us, we already created a tuple, right? With our, gen with our random RGB generator, it's giving us a tuple of RGB. So I just need to take the variable that we assigned as the output and put that right here. And boom, just like that, we have a new image. But how do we actually display that image so that, again, we can actually use it and see what's going on? Well, the image package uh, or the image module in Pillow you, has a very simple fun function called um, show. So you can just do image.show and there you have it. Um, that's it. So if we run this, you'll see that there's our random color that's generated. And if you wait a couple seconds, boom, that just pops up. And we get that 34 red, 141 green, and 29 blue. Looks more of like this greenish color, which is kind of to be expected because the green color is more stand, you know, is more prominent, you know, it's a higher number. Um, and now if we run this again, we get this to pop out and we can see that that's more of a purple color. And you can see that the 243 red, 84 green, and four blue is kind of more like this, I guess, orange color. Um, so there you have it, folks. That is essentially how you generate a random RGB color. Um, and this function is, is five lines of code, essentially, because of the function header and then the three lines and then the return. So um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you found this really helpful, please smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. This is where the place where we learn more about Python, software development, and just any questions that you guys have that you could find helpful in your coding journey. So until next time, keep on programming. Bye.